You know, we have, uh, our approach to unified communications is really, really software centric. In fact, uh, you know, Microsoft has been a software company always, and uh, it's only when we see opportunities as being software problems do we actually enter that, those, those markets. And what we see, thanks to advancement in technology, as Bill talked about, that communications is now a software problem. We believe that, we are big believers in software, we believe that when you can map something to be into the software domain to be a software problem, you, you can innovate very quickly with it, it's a very malleable medium, so you can adapt it, it's very flexible, lots of people can build on it, add on to it, etc. That's how we've always looked at computing um, at Microsoft. And so that is our, you know, our, what we believe a unique approach that we are bringing to communications. So um, would you say that that's part of the, the difference is that that is it. The philosophically you believe it's a software problem, that's you know, right. Cisco's right. going to come at it as more of a, of a network a problem. Network problem. And they they believe it's something which you know is, is based on the network, which is a you know clearly an area where they have a lot of strength in. And that's a fundamentally different point of view. Now. We believe that uh, it, as part of our, uh, you know, migration of customers from today's world, uh, which where I include uh, companies like Cisco in, because it is a PBX at the end of it, it's a PBX-centric model, to the new world, which is more around unified communications, we have provided interoperability points, and we are working with pretty much every PBX manufacturer on interoperating office communication server with the PBX using standard interfaces. We published this specification in March of this year, and we've had a lot of uh, interest around that. We've engaged actively with uh, with uh, PBX manufacturers, including Cisco, on how we can actually integrate these things. Now, how how committed can they be to working with you when, you know, on the one hand you're saying we're working alongside them, but then you're saying, but in a few years you won't really need the PBX folks anymore. Wouldn't they be more likely to embrace somebody like Cisco, who they see as more of a hardware player, who's not trying to work them out um, uh, sooner than so, later? So, you know, it, at the end of the day, I mean, it's not what one vendor wants or desires, which, uh, you know, what is what happens. It is what economics drive, what, uh, what innovation, what customer choice, uh, you know, what, what customers pick is eventually the solution which, which prevails. And uh, we believe, we are very, you know, like I said, big believers in the power of software and what software can do, how much innovation it can happen. And we believe that's where uh, the world is going to go. Yeah. Now, how um, do you get them on board with you, though, when with you're customers? saying, well, you're going to be extinct? Uh, customers <laughs> or partners? <laughs> okay, the, the, the PBX partners. So you're saying, we're working with you, we want to make sure that this works together, but then you're saying, to customers, but eventually you won't need the PBX folks anymore. They're like the mainframe folks. They're going to go the way of the dinosaur. So uh, th there is an opportunity for them as well. One is that they have to respond to their customers. Otherwise, okay. customers are going to go to somebody else. So uh, if customers are demanding certain type of integration, uh, PBX owners have to do that. But the other opportunity, I believe, is what you saw Nortel, Ericsson, and Mitel, who we announced today doing. What they're saying is that they're going to take their expertise around communications and they're going to transfer that onto the office communication server platform, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, which has call control and VoIP capabilities. Because even in the new world, there are new opportunities. Uh, just to give you, to draw an analogy from the mainframe world, HP was in the computing business, which was vertically integrated. Mm -hmm. HP today is a very, very relevant player in technology. They're building certain hardware components, they're building software services, they've got some software applications. So there is a transformation which is there for PBX vendors as well. Now some PBX vendors are going to make that transformation and some are not. Is Wang, Microsoft Wang providing computing. a vision of it though? Like what does that look like for a PBX company under the old model yes. to transform itself? What do they have to do? Absolutely. So so we have, uh, I think Nortel today did a press release around that. I think Mitel has made some statements. Ericsson is. Uh, let's look at Ericsson. What Ericsson is doing, Ericsson has figured out that, you know, that they have a lot of strength in mobility. Mm -hmm. They have, uh, you know, carrier infrastructure. Um, and what they want to do is they want to build uh, additional components around the office communication server uh, infrastructure that extend the unified communications experience onto any mobile device. So that's an example of how Ericsson can add value uh, on top of the office uh, communications of voice platform. Now, what's interesting is, you know, prior to uh, of unified communications, the software-centric view, if you look at the market share of these BBX vendors, some had 12%, 8%, 14%, 
it was very fragmented. Mm -hmm. Now, folks who join the, you know, get on board with the train of unified communications, they have an opportunity to address a much broader base. So they are not, you know, they they go from supporting, let's say, five percent of a vertically integrated uh, stack to maybe twenty-five percent of a of a horizontal functionality, which can be on top of this platform. So we are very committed to this. In fact, we believe that there is a uh, players like Ericsson, Nortel, My, uh, Mitel can bring a lot of uh, expertise uh, onto our platform. If you look at solutions like uh, hospitality and healthcare and retail, you know these are all they're all pretty verticalized things. If you go to a hotel, there's a telephony system there which has all these interesting features. Those kind of things uh, we will we don't focus on at Microsoft. We focus on more the horizontal capability. So taking our horizontal platform, customizing it for these different environments, creating value there, and creating a lot of new innovation there, so that you're not just limited to you know those five buttons on a hotel phone for what you can do. Maybe there's a lot of interesting things they can do. Those are the kind of opportunities telephony players today uh, can uh, participate in. Um, but the bigger opportunity is that even beyond the PBX players, a complete open ecosystem, which has you know tens of millions of ISVs uh, developers out there who can now innovate on top of UC platform as well.